Thank you for joining me today. I'm in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 3. Now, there's a story here in this passage, uh, right at the beginning of this chapter, I should say, about Jesus coming into a synagogue, and there is a man that he heals that has a withered hand. Now, let me, let me read you. This is from the English Standard Version. And uh, sometimes I read from other translations, but there, were, there, were, there was something in this that just startled me the way that it was read, uh, the way it reads in this particular version. And so I guess that's a, an encouragement that occasionally as you read the scripture, choose a different version so that maybe there is a new thought, maybe there is, excuse me, a new idea that comes. That's what happened as I was reading it from this particular version. I'm going to read the first six verses. Again, he entered the synagogue, and a man was there with a withered hand, and they watched Jesus to see whether he would heal him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. Excuse me. And he said to the man with the withered hand, Come here. And he said to them, Is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do harm, to save life or to kill? But they were silent. And he looked out around at them with anger, grieved at their hardness of heart, and said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately held counsel with the Herodians against him, how to destroy him. Now, first of all, I want you to see that uh, the whole purpose of this particular healing um, yes, Jesus has compassion for people who have, uh, who have disabilities and who are ill in any kind of way. Yes, he does. But, but I want you to notice here that Jesus' healing of this man was not so much because this man came and asked him as much as it was to point out the hardness of heart of the Pharisees and the other religious leaders of that particular community. And, and, I, and what startled me as I read this, because I, I had never noticed this particular word before, but it says in verse 5, he looked around at them with anger. Now, we usually think of Jesus as this uh, docile, uh, uh, very compassionate kind of person who never gets upset with people. And we, we forget sometimes that twice he, uh, he cleansed the temple of its money changers and all. But, but here, this particular passage demonstrates that he was angry. And what we, he was angry about specifically in verse 5 is their hardness of heart. These people were not concerned over human suffering. They were not concerned over the needs of these people. All they wanted was to make sure that their little fiefdom was established, that their power was intact, that people would look to them and see what great people they were. And Jesus was grieved over that. These people entered the synagogue, whether, uh, or excuse me, they watched Jesus in the synagogue to see whether he would heal him. They weren't concerned for this man. And while Jesus was concerned, please don't misunderstand me, Jesus was especially grieved over the hardness of their hearts over human suffering. And we need to, we need to understand this in our day as well. There are a lot of people in this particular, uh, this particular nation, society, where, where they use uh, the, the guilt over a lack of compassion in order to accomplish their, their purposes, their agendas. And these people were using their lack of compassion to accomplish their agendas. Both are wrong. The agenda that we need to have is to worship and to adore the God of, of creation, the one revealed through Israel and in Jesus, and he has compassion for human suffering. 
Now, are some of those people who are, uh, who are suffering, are, is it because of their own uh, foolishness, their own, uh, uh, their own desire to manipulate and accomplish their own will? Are they using those sufferings in order to manipulate? Probably so. But it doesn't relieve us from the responsibility to minister to people who are suffering in this generation. Jesus did that. And what concerned him was the leadership of the ecclesiastical community who had so little compassion for human suffering and were so much more concerned with making sure that, that they remained in power and they remained the people that uh, would lead their particular community, their ecclesiastical community that way. That's what grieved Jesus. And I think it should grieve us also. Father, forgive us. Forgive us that we are more concerned with our own um, our own concerns, our own wealth, our own uh, little community than we are with human suffering. I, I grieve over that. I see it sometimes in my own heart and it, and it disturbs me. And I thank you, Father, that it disturbs you also. And I pray that you would help us to stand firmly on the side of, of compassion for the sufferings of people around us. Give to us wisdom. Lord, we don't want people simply to take advantage of us, but we also want to express your genuine concern for human need. And so help us. Give us the wisdom and the balance that we need in our day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.